how do you take traumatic, super cool black background photos just using a phone? Um, well, it's super easy and today I want to show you how you can do it in your house because I'm just in a garage right now. So the very first thing that you need to know, the bigger room, the better. Or you can use a black background cloth to make it even easier. But if you don't have it, and today I'm gonna show you without, that's totally fine, but you need to stay very far away from the background. Because the concept is that by having a very strong source of light, which is something that you need to have as well, whether as a professional light or is a neon or as an Amazon cheap softbox, you're gonna need that so we expose our face and everything else will become darker automatically because you're not gonna need any editing skills to do this and we're just gonna use an iPhone 11 Pro if you have a better one it's even better obviously if you have an Android that's fine as well so the first thing is to identify the longest part of your room and in this case we're gonna use this part and we're gonna try to have that background then you need to have a very strong light in this case I'm using a Forza 60 by Nanet which is the entry level of professional lighting It's not really expensive and I suggest if you're into photography to invest in lighting because it's even more more important is just having a camera and then what we're gonna do is just we're gonna try to place the subject as far as possible from the background but as close as possible to the big source of light and uh, today with us we're gonna have Elenia that is gonna help us take in this photo all right so for the first example I want to show you just using the normal camera of your iPhone of your Android whatever you have so we're gonna open it and we need to have this strong light source as close as possible to your subject just right out of frame. So in this case, we'll move it very, very close and try to place it 45 degrees towards the subject. So in this case, we're just gonna move this one right there. There you go. I think it looks fine, maybe slightly more in the front. Cool, so right now I'm just using the two pair zoom and then now because Elenia is overexposed you can see also the background but what happens is that when I click on Elenia's face and then I just drag the sun down, 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 there you go, now the background is completely dark and we can snap a photo yeah we can direct the subject and move up and down also the sun to have it more or less bright and also we can keep pressing our finger on Elenia's face so we're gonna lock the focus and the exposure and then right now we take the sun and we drag it down there you go everything is becoming dark how cool is that and then we can snap all the photos that you want and Elenia can move a bit maybe change angle, look at the light, and then as photographers, we need to direct the model. But as you can see, that's super easy because everything is completely black. There you go, and there's no editing required. If the light goes into frame, then you can move it a bit and then keep snapping photos. There you go, beautiful, you beautiful, that's it. You can see how the background is completely black pitch black just because we use a strong light and we expose correctly our phone. Now I want to show you one more options that we can have by simply utilizing another light on the back of Elenia or on the side to add a little bit of movement, a little bit of contrast. So in this case I'm using this Little Light 5C by Nightlight in the normal mode with 2700 Kelvin. That means it's a yellow light as you can see right now. And I'm just gonna positioning on the side of Elenia a little bit towards the back, let's say. So we're gonna do the same exact thing, but right now the difference is that we have a light that is coming from the back, just right there with Elenia. So we're gonna click two pair to have the zoom function, hold on Elenia's face and then drag the sun right down. There you go. And we can see that we have that little light just on the side. If it's not enough, then obviously we can place the light in different positions. So right now I moved it a little bit higher and then again, we hold on Elenia's face and then we drag down the exposure, there you go. And then when you're ready, we're just gonna snap a photo. Look at the light, please. 
Yep, look again, more, 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 more. And there you go, we snap a photo, boom. That's nice, as you can see, this light right here is helping us having a little bit more depth, a little bit more contrast in the photo. And now if you have a look at them, then they look very, very nice. And there you go, you have already your black background photos made with your phone and they are amazing. But let me show you a little editing trick in case you wanna fix something. You can use two different apps that I love. First one is Lightroom Mobile, which is a little bit more precise, but it has some premium features that you need to pay for. Otherwise, you can use Snapseed, which is a free app that I wanna show you right now to remove some imperfection of the image. So let's use, for example, Snapseed, and then we open in the camera roll, we go and take the photo that we want, for example, the last one that we shot. And then from here, because the light was a little bit in the frame still, then what I wanna do is that I'm gonna go in tools and then click on healing, zoom in in the photo, and simply drag my finger on top of the part that we want to eliminate, and there you go. This is fully black. One more thing that you can do, let's say we open a different photo that has a little bit of the background because it was not completely dark because maybe you were not far away enough then let's take a photo where we see the background, like this one, for example. I don't like much this photo, but just to show you, you can see the background a tiny bit. We go in tools, we go in selective, and then we're just gonna zoom in, we click on plus, we point our finger, click on the side, and now you'll be able to pinch in or pinch out with your fingers in order to increase or decrease the exposure of that part that you see in red. So we're just gonna do like this, and then we're gonna have the B, which is brightness, otherwise we can change by holding with the finger and going up and down to contrast, saturation, and structure, but we're just gonna stay in brightness, and then we decrease the brightness by moving our fingers towards the left. And as you can see right now, it became completely black. This is the before, and this is the after. There's a tiny change, but you can see that before it wasn't very, very black, and now it's super black. Plus, let me show you one more thing. When we go live with mobile, you just wanna import any photo that you have. For example, the last one that we took already that we edited in Snapseed. And here, what you'll be able to do is the same thing. So you wanna go in healing, then you wanna zoom in in that part of the image. You wanna click and change the dimension of the brush and then you're gonna click on it. There you go, drag your finger. Lightroom is gonna apply a different part and clone a different part of the image to remove whatever you drag your fingers on. And then you click okay, there you go. This is disappeared. Then the next thing that you wanna do is totally up to you. If you want, you can apply a preset, you can modify the image, you can make it prettier. I'm just gonna apply my preset that is called Pitch Black that does exactly what I want for this type of photos. And there you go, this is the before and this is the after. Eventually, you wanna make it maybe a little bit more magenta. There you go. And eventually decrease the clarity like so to have the skin a little bit smoother and decrease also the texture maybe like this and this is the before and this is the after as you can see guys we've taken an amazing dramatic black background shot just in a garage with almost nothing just with a phone and you can do the same thing as well now that you've understood the power of your phone you're able to take so many different type of shots in your house in this video i talk about 15 photos ideas that you can try right now in less than six minutes i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.